So you are there as a guest witnessing a Muslim marriage, witnessing a lot of Islam and Muslims in Pakistan. Right. And how it continued on your journey to Islam. So in my mind, I said, if I convert to Islam, I want to do it in Saudi Arabia. Interesting. So you're in Pakistan, <laughs> but you're like, if I get convert to Islam, I want to do it in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. No, no, I'm asking you questions because our viewers there, I'm trying to ask questions that they would be thinking. Right. And I'm sure they're thinking because, you know, I'm trying to think how our worldwide viewers are thinking. We have viewers all over Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, yes. in the Caribbean, America, you know, worldwide. So they're probably asking themselves these questions that I'm asking. Right. And I want to ask you the question that they're asking. Right. So you're in Pakistan now, <laughs> from New York. Yes. You ended up in Pakistan. Yes. And while in Pakistan now, you want to accept Islam, but right. you want to accept Islam in Saudi Arabia. Yes. Okay. So what my, my boss, my brother in Islam, right? He said, Jasmine, you should do your Shahada. You should do your Shahada while you're here. I'm like, yeah, but I want to do it in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. He goes, but Fasl Mosque was built by King Fasl, mm -hmm. and he's from Saudi Arabia. So I said... Okay. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. So. Uh, that is phenomenal. Yeah. And it was a Friday. Mm -hmm. And the imam that was there, he took his day off. Mm -hmm. And he came to, to welcome me to Islam and do my shahada. And I was in a room full of men. And I had Surah, Surah Rahman mm -hmm. behind me. And I had my, my friend there with me as the only witness who was a female mm -hmm. there. And as I was doing my shahada, they lit up a, the, a big golden ball for me. And they said they only light it up for important people. So I, was, I felt blessed. Too. So this is in the masjid in Pakistan, King Faisal Masjid. Yes. So now your wish has come through. Mm -hmm. You did not get a go in Saudi Arabia, but here you got a king of Saudi Arabia who built the masjid in Pakistan and you're accepting Islam in that masjid. Yes. Wow, subhanAllah. <laughs> One of the biggest masjids in the world. One of the biggest masjid, definitely, subhanAllah. Yes. SubhanAllah. So when I did my shahada, I didn't know that the people outside... So they allowed, you, they allowed you to come to the mosque? Yes. And that was something I was a little confused about because, you know, ladies a lot of people... Ladies didn't go to the masjid. There were, not, there were no other ladies, right? There was only one woman there, which was my companion, my friend. Mm -hmm. And um, there was no other woman there. It was, a, like I told you, a room full of men. Yeah. Me and my, my friend, who were women. Was this before the Juma prayer or after? After. Okay. So you saw the tens of thousands of people that came to mosque for Juma prayer, right? Yes. Yes. Wow. That must have blown your mind. It made me cry. Oh, truly, when you see all these people, huh? Yeah, because when I went outside, they're like, oh, Jasmine, I didn't tell you, but while you was doing your shahada, people outside was listening to you. Mm. So I said, what? He was like, yeah, so don't be surprised when you see a whole bunch of people wanting to hug you and take a picture with you. And when we opened the door, there was a mob of people, women and children and men outside. The women and children wanted to hug me and take pictures of me, and the men were taking pictures. and. That's when I became overwhelmed because I never felt so much love. Wow. I never felt so much love and a big atmosphere in a religious place. And it just felt so good. Like, alhamdulillah, I felt so good. I never felt something so beautiful in my life. So did you cry? I cried. They were like, don't cry, don't cry. I was like, I'm crying because I'm happy. Not because I'm sad. Mm. I'm crying because I'm happy. Because Allah made, provided this for me. Subhanallah. Look at you. You accepted Islam with great honor. Think about it. The, your wish of wanting to be a Muslim, your search of Islam and searching God, it ended up. That's why, I mean, I'm amazed. And I could still see some tears want to flow down your <laughs> eyes when you remember <laughs> that. That would have been something yeah, really yeah. phenomenal. Look at what Allah did. The boss had a cousin to get married. And uh, listen, at the end of the day, I'm not saying that's the reason, but that's one of the reasons. For the girl to go and see the cousin, you got a free ticket to go on the trip. Yes. You see how Allah did it? You yes. see the journey? Yes. 
I mean, I'm not saying the boss was not kind enough to invite you to his family's wedding in Pakistan. Oh, yes. But because this girl had to go and see this boy, mm -hmm. you were the friend who made the arrangements. Yes. You were the middleman. Right. And you got to go. But look how Allah is taking you to your wish of accepting Islam in that big, massive audience. Yes. Can you imagine? Alhamdulillah. That's beautiful. When you would have seen the size of the mosque and all these th thousands of people, it's did you probably felt you were in a movie, right? Yeah, I felt like a superstar. Huh? I felt like a celebrity. I felt like a celebrity. I felt, because everybody just wanted to, to see me. Everybody just wanted to welcome me. They were, that's what they were doing. They were welcoming me. Well, when you Islam. accept Islam, you're beyond the celebrity. <laughs> yes. Subhanallah. That's Subhanallah. a whole different world. Yes. Where is an experience I would never feel like I is is different. So how did they dress you to take you to the mosque and oh all man, these I things? Had what this happened? Beautiful. Because I'm sure it's a whole different thing. The whole yeah. look, the environment. Yeah. I had a beautiful dress. It was like bluish. It was blue and white, and I had my hijab on. It was flowing, and I they dressed me with a with the with the chain of roses from my neck to the to the floor. Mm. Mm. Like one of those after you yeah. accepted Islam. After, yeah. They put this rose. over you. Yeah, the rose petal. Yeah. Rose, big broad rose necklace from my neck to the ground. And that is also done when you sort of honor someone. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.